The gaming sector is a hot sector right now, especially with developments in the metaverse, esports, cryptocurrencies, all looking rather great. But in today's chart of the day, I'm going to look at an old classic and see how they are fitting in. They're Nintendo, a gaming favourite. Like I'm going to look at the technical analysis and see where that price might be heading next. Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. So with that out the way, let's get on with the analysis. Nintendo had been growing nicely really until the start of 2021 and I'm guessing some of that was pandemic related but they did have quite a quiet sort of mid to mid 1920 that yellow box there before they broke up and then I can sort of see a loose head and shoulders pattern sort of developing over second half of 2020 into the, sec the first half of 21 which I've highlighted there in the sort of pink blocks with the neckline going through the price and that created you know according to the rules of risk uh, technical analysis um, from the height to the neckline and then laid under that break of the neckline as a potential target area which takes us very nicely down to the 38.2 longer term Fibonacci line around $50 and which is where the price is heading to at the moment so that could prove a key support for the level for the price before it decides what to do next move back into that yellow box area between $50 and $40 or bounce from there back upwards you know and that head and shoulder pattern has been completed and would look then from the $50 area to head towards $60 and then $70 before trying to push up to the highs but at the moment it looks like it's heading more towards $50. So the daily Heikinashi chart is not looking that great for Nintendo in the shorter term. Signals at the bottom both bearish but volatility and volume not really doing much at the moment and the decline has sort of slowed down and I put on top of the price the two standard deviation regression lines and the price has been playing in that range we did have a recent sell signal in October time around about $60 mark and it's dragging like I said previously the price down to that $50 area which could be a key like I say support you know resistance zone for the price and at the moment though you've got to really view it as a bearish uh, setup for the Renko chart I've used a 50 cent block size all our signals currently bearish onto the price we have a breakout of the pink box uh, two line set up there and you can see the trend has been downwards the price is under the longer term moving average next downside in the Renko chart world is about $46 and we've talked about the $50 previously so probably first stop 50 ish and then 46 and any further downsides well the next stop is about 42 if it breaks from there upside wise if it can reverse its current downtrend then probably looking at 65 then 70 and then back to the highs around the 80s but at the moment in the shorter to medium term looking bearish on the technicals i'm afraid just based off the technicals alone it's looking quite bearish 
for Nintendo at the moment. The Heiken Ashi a bit more neutral wheat bearish than the Renko but overall giving them both bearish and we focus in on the targets it's similar um, probably slightly better to the bullish side but realistically I say the technicals pointing more bearish upsides 1.4 2.8 to 1 and on the downsides 1.18 1.9 to 1 but overall I say a bearish opinion so currently not looking too good for Nintendo in that shorter to medium term but that's not to say they can't turn it around they've been around for a long time they've been a very successful company so watch this space let me know in the comments below what you think of Nintendo stock and where it might be heading next would love to hear from you there and if you've liked the technical analysis I've used in today's video then I'll put a link in the description below for you to follow to learn more from. And if you liked today's video, please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive further future notification of content I'm going to produce just like this. And all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching, good luck with the trading, and I'll see you in the next video.